Video games are incredible for way more reasons than I have time to list today, but one of the biggest reasons people keep coming back to them are their fun and recognizable worlds. Each game takes place in their own little universe with different characters, settings, and stories. You actually have the ability to walk around and interact with this world, which is why video games can be so fun. Unfortunately, when big studios decide to adapt games into a feature-length film, it almost never works out. They have a history of being awful and unfaithful to the source material, the movies made only as a cash grabs without any real heart. It's very rare to see a video game movie get a 6 out of 10 or higher rating from critics and audiences alike, so fans probably aren't too happy. But in the past few months, there's been a sudden boost of movies based on video games announced, and an unpredictable but interesting future lies ahead of us right now. Let's talk about what may end up happening. We should start with Detective Pikachu. It takes one of the world's most popular video game franchises into the real world with a bunch of CG animated and cute Pokemon. Welcome to Rhyme City, a celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. The movie hasn't been out too long, but fan responses have been pretty solid so far, definitely getting above average scores if we're comparing this to other video game movies. But what exactly makes Detective Pikachu stand out from the rest? Well, it was pretty faithful to the unique world of Pokemon, satisfying a ton of series fans. This wasn't just lazily put together with the Pokemon title to attract everyone, instead there's actual emotion and an interesting story to be told that expands the fictional universe. Detective Pikachu is by no means perfect, but it had enough to set the standard for what a video game movie should be. A sequel is already planned, which is gonna be really nice, but it also paves the path for a completely new lineup of movies that we've never gotten until now. Think about it, up until this point we've only been getting adaptations of popular video games, but not ones that every single person knows. Hitman Agent 47, Max Payne, and Prince of Persia are just some examples, but until now there haven't been many movies surrounding the most iconic games of all time. Detective Pikachu begins the wave, and up next is Sonic the Hedgehog. <sighs> oh boy, a lot about this movie has already been said by this point, but the fact that we're finally seeing his journey to the big screen now is interesting. Detective Pikachu is a box office success, so that's cool, but the Sonic movie's performance is still pretty important. It's taking one of the most recognizable video game characters into the real world, and if it doesn't do well, then people are once again gonna lose faith in these types of adaptations. Judging from the trailer, it looks Looks like it could be kind of fun, but the relatively generic storyline isn't giving me a lot of hope. So Pokemon officially made it to the big screen, and the Speedy Hedgehog joins in later this year, but two other movies are also worth mentioning. When I say video game, what do you think of at first? Yeah, you really don't have to think about it at all. You know the name. He has one of the most popular video game franchises of all time. Every single person on the planet is aware of this man. Dick Vitale's awesome baby college hoops. Chances are Mario popped into your head, and that wouldn't be surprising. But what is surprising is that we're finally getting a fully animated movie surrounding him, created by Illumination and coming out in 2022. Yeah, it's disappointing that such a mediocre studio is making the movie, but with Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto closely involved in production, this may actually be a fun time. There's a ton of potential for the Mario movie, especially in the box office with a name everyone knows. With Miyamoto helping out, he'll do his best to keep the adaptation as faithful as possible. If this turns out worthwhile, then of course sequels are going to be made, further cementing how the future of video game movies will go. If we're talking about something else coming out in 2022, Minecraft is heading into theaters with its very first ever feature length film. While nowhere near as popular as Mario, it's still a timeless game that's been well known ever since it came out. The future of video game movies is unpredictable, but the next few years should decide everything. Pokemon, Sonic, Mario, and Minecraft. They're all some of the most recognizable franchises, and the box office numbers compared with audience ratings is what will determine if these types of movies actually get better. Detective Pikachu is a success, but the real question is if the next three will also deliver. If they do, then we could actually be entering a timeline where we can have, dare I say it, good video game movies. I've always loved games, so I'm really crossing my fingers that a bright future is ahead, but time will tell. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.